Hi there, Pisces, and anybody else tuning in. This is your bonus June 1st to the 15th of the month reading. We're gonna jump in, this is 2024, but you can honestly be watching whenever. Uh, we'll see you maybe in a few years, and it could really be resonating for you then. Uh, let's jump in with the downloads that were coming in right as I got into this video for you, okay? And I'm personally, uh, myself, a sign Pisces in Western. So yeah, um, I'm really feeling these energies, okay? This energy is very palpable. And maybe you're just curious in general. Um, but yeah, uh, you probably do have a lot of Pisces if you're drawn to this channel. So just if, if you're curious. Yeah, I'm a sun sign Pisces in Western and a Mercury in Pisces as well. So let's uh, jump into this energy now. I was working with your spirit team and I'm seeing that there is this sort of like, there is someone who is on your sacral chakra, okay? In an unhealthy way. It's not like um, a loving or benevolent energy. It's clear in the crash chakra. It's something that's very clunky, okay? And it's not in resonance with you. So it could be someone, it can also be something um, I'd like to get a little more. I'm hearing the name Patrick here and I see 111. So it seems like there's some clearing here right off the bat that you would do really well to sort of um, take a closer look at, okay? And you can do that by introspecting and really getting a bit honest with yourself um, as we turn the bend from May to June, okay? Maybe sit, sitting down, journaling, or just uh, reflecting on what, what you've been moving through and what you've been feeling. And it's important that for some of you, you know, maybe you do literally sit down and journal or, or talk with someone even, okay? Because there's a lot coming up, I feel, and there's a rather emotional as well. Uh, possibly for some of you, direction, yeah, you, that you're moving in. Now, this is also, um, okay, like a homecoming energy. Like, you are definitely manifesting something huge here. We have a really emotional sort of splash with the Ace of Cups and the Six of Cups coming in. And this sort of is giving me a bit of what we saw in Saggy's reading. So, yeah, um, there could be something almost like overwhelming. Like, it's exciting, but it's a lot. And we have the higher front leading out. So, there's a decision that you have to make. It's a bit... Um, surreal it's it's kind of uh maybe even a little intimidating but it's um i'm hearing it's you it's for you and i feel like someone even wants to honor you pisces here i'm hearing the name sheffield i'm hearing the name chester as well someone wants to acknowledge you i just saw the emperor and uh, some of you you know you're like why me okay i mean do i deserve this the page of cups you guys i mean you are you're going to receive you're going to receive so the question is you know are you prepared to receive and i think that's really where it's at um, with this reflection point that spirit wants you to sort of uh, bring yourself to a, a bit more closely. We have the page of pentacles with the nine of swords and the king of swords. Yeah, someone here is not done, okay, with, with this conversation with you. Uh, maybe you thought, you know, they, they were they were done with you. I don't know. Take it as you will. But yeah, they, they could have communicated a disinterest, but it's not the case. And they're going to come around. They're going to do like a circle to you with the king of pentacles and the four of pentacles. So, um, yeah, that's very interesting. I, um, I feel like some of you are not expecting this. You're not seeing this coming. Now, this could be matters of self-worth. Some of you here, you may have someone from your past who's still sort of in your aura. They're still in your energy. And they're sort of inter interrupting the way that you're receiving this new person or this energy that's coming in, which is truly, I think this is a benevolent energy here with the higher font, um, the King of Swords. Okay. And uh, there's a bit of pandemonium. You're like, oh my God, I hear it again. Like, why me? The Six of Pentacles with the Seven of Cups. It's honestly a dream come true. It's really a, ma a moment and a matter of reciprocity. It's a new beginning, and I like the foundation for it when we look at it from that angle. Let's get a little deeper with this and see with the guides what, um, yes, it's alongside you in this new tier of manifesting, okay? Your your dream. I hear it like that. You know, maybe there's been this energy of we're creating together, co-creating, but you wanted to break apart and sort of create on your own with your own uh, sense of self. Maybe you recently went through a long chapter of working with someone and you're like, I need a little bit of distance and space so I can sort of remind myself of who I am. The Ace of Pentacles, the Fool. Yeah, there's someone here who is maybe a friend, like Anything, anything that's good too much becomes not a good thing. I'm hearing the name Neil. I'm hearing the name Ca Cassie, Cassandra. We have Ace of Swords, um, or maybe Sandra, like Bullock. We have a Hangman right there. Yeah, you need to you need to spend time on your own um, to get to know yourself. I hear that again. Okay, with the Nine of Pentacles, the Hangman, you have um, a guide as well who's really wanting to sort of gift you something. It's like some kind of really interesting, um, even ability of yours. That, that you'll really enjoy, you, yeah, it's, um, it's something you need to translate, though, and you need to give yourself that space and time to do so, so it seems like there's something, if you just take that moment with the Ace of Swords, that you'll come down to, uh-huh, 
Yeah, there's something maybe of a crux, like it was an issue that you're trying to sort of really meditate on and almost figure out in May and it just wasn't happening. And then I see you coming to that in June. Should you give, again, yourself the space to sort of hone in on that Ace of Swords moment with your spirit team, the higher font? That's exactly the energy. So it could be that someone is even trying to get you for a minute to sort of click with you and be able to translate this for you. So interesting. Okay, something needs to be... Um, yeah, uh, it's almost like delivered. It's like, you know, every time they're coming around, hey, Pisces, are you there? It's like you haven't been um, available to receive, I hear that, until this point. The Seven of Pentacles and the Fool. Um, some of you, this is about self-talk energy, and this is also about acclimating your mind to receive goodwill, okay, good fortune. Some of you have been really, like, through the stormy, stormy seas, and you just haven't been receptive to receiving anything that, that is at least of this kind coming in, I feel. Many of you have been really dealing with just, like, yeah, you, well... The, the, the you've <laughs> I'm hearing riveting frogs. You've been really um yeah you you've been waiting for that moment to come where you could just kind of let 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 these frogs go. Let me say it like that. But yeah, your your guides um, had you in a pretty tight quarter. I hear it like that with within the space of your spirituality. You really did all you could to keep yourself afloat, but this was really hard. I'm not gonna lie. This was really really challenging. I'm hearing something about a beachfront. Some of you, you know, you were just, I mean, under an insurmountable level of pressure. You could have been really, like, on your own. Um, many of you didn't have an outlet, okay, to communicate about this. And it was something that you were doing on your own, okay? I hear, like, that again. So it sounds like, yeah, it's giving me really Sagittarius' is reading. And it's giving me as well... Oh, Sagittarius is reading for Mercury and Gemini. Yeah, one man show. So then here comes a higher font. And this makes me now think of Gemini's read. So it's interesting you're almost coming in with the Sag energy and leading out with the Gemini, where the mothership is now ready to take you uh, and, and carry you forward. And it's all about monumental success there and legacy that you're leaving behind. So, the, as uh, yeah, I know that you're just like, ugh, but like, it's like when you're finishing the line and you're literally, um, you know, you cross that line. You are so done with it all that, I mean, it's like they can hand you a trophy. You're just like, I need water. You know, it's something like that. And I feel like, you know, you know, literally, and look at this heart font. It almost looks like a trophy in his hand. Like when you are going to receive whatever this is, your guides want you to be in good faith. They want you to be um, ready for this, okay? Because it's 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 for you. I hear it like that. And so this is, they're saying, take your moment to decompress with the fool. Your guides are saying, we understand, like, this has been really challenging. So, and you've been dealing with someone here specifically in the past who was just, I mean, it was so icky, Pisces. It wasn't for you. It's not, it's not fair to you. That wasn't fair to you back there. Queen of Swords reversed in the Eight of Wands of Right. You know, some of you maybe felt like really even abused, and I'm sorry to hear that, okay? Because that is the case. But there was something that was just almost like you felt like it was weighing on you. Like you almost felt like, you know, when you live your, your life and you have someone just kind of laying on you, you know, like you feel like you have someone on top of you, like you're living two lives out. This is, this is, this is hard, but you're going, you're going to see that, you know, you were, you were, you, you were the one who spirit saw as, as the one that they could count on to finish at the end of the line and, um, you know, and, 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 and mirror back. Okay your your conversation with your higher self still so there's something that you were very very successful at and this was not easy though and they want to say again we understand if for a minute you know you look at us and you're just like i can't right now with my spirit team and they're like we we understand you pisces so yeah there's a moment that maybe you're you're going to break away from a certain transition and uh, some of you this is karma okay this is an ancient past life contract that you are finally done with and i'm really happy for you pisces you made it out there and you made it out in um really vibrant color i hear it like that you've never lost yourself really in the forces that way i hear it with the wheel of fortune in the tower you have so much good karma coming for you from whatever this is and it's partly what you lead and you teach others okay to carry out for themselves with it's about how it is that you empower others to find that same light and that same bravery within themselves to do what you've done for yourself that's really a huge um golden coin here that we're looking at and the and and your spirit team they're looking at you they're like here you go and we hope you put it in that jukebox so you can play this song so loud so people know how to sing as well for themselves even when it's raining outside you've been an inspiration Pisces like it's really emotional your guides really like oh my god it's here we go with the Sagittarius energy like you are um honestly yeah I'm hearing you they want you to know like you've been so brave Pisces okay the things you've been doing for this collective
you've been doing these tight rounds, these tight circles, Pisces, on the astral, okay, on the grid. As many of you who do grid work, you've, you've literally been giving this grid your everything. Like, you have not been living for yourself, okay? That's how it made me felt. And you knew, like, I'm doing, so I have something literally in my eye, <laughs> but I'm also tearing up. You know, you, you felt like, I know I'm, I know there's a purpose, but I'm still human. You know, there's that side of it, but... You know, you're not here for just one side of the story, and you're and 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 you're also not just here for, okay, um, the story. You're here for the act, and you and you just you were so good. I hear like that. Your guys just want you to know. We just honestly cherish and adore you. So yeah, they 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 do want you to know that there is also more to come of this. That's um, creative and fun and pleasurable, and and yeah, your 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 talk is going to change. So the things that you've been sort of covering, you know, it's it's going to change. Okay, your guys are saying the weather is going to change. Um, there are much sunnier days ahead, much brighter days ahead, and the death card again coming through eleven eleven right there on the clock. You've transmuted. You have manifested with the darkness, something that is so bright and so great that others can't help but want to create the same for themselves. Like you need to understand the gravity of your work. You ha yeah, you have to, that's your spirit team. They're like, we have to get this across. Like to Pisces, like what they're doing for this world. <sighs> yeah. There, yeah, Pisces, listen, you're on the front line. You've been on the, you've been, you've been out there. Okay. Your guides want to give you this moment to honor you. Yeah. This is for you, Pisces. This is all for you right here. This Queen of Cups and the Five of Wands, like, your guides, they, they don't know, they don't know. <laughs> they don't know how to put it into words. Twelve, twelve. They just don't know, you know. They don't know how. They don't know how lucky even they are. Okay, like they don't even know how lucky they are to have someone like you. Okay, to 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 work through, and it goes both ways. You know, sometimes you go, oh my gosh, I feel really blessed. You know, my spirit team, but it's also vice versa. I'm hearing you're memorable and you're one of a kind. Yeah. Your finances. Oh my God, I'm getting very emotional. Your finances are going to change, Pisces. Look at this King of Pentacles. This is the Gemini read. The mothership. Okay. The mothership, Pisces. You see this big fat acorn right here. Yeah. Somebody here really wants to honor you. <laughs> they do. <laughs> they want to celebrate you. And they want to give back to you, Pisces. We'll see you in a part two on members. I'm really emotional, but I'd rather be emotional than frigid. When we see things that need to change in this world, there are, there's only one person who can change that thing. It's the person who sees the need for the change in that moment. And you took that moment and you made it your story. You made it your story. And not only that, you built the stage yourself. Bye, guys.